So Stephen, you're going to show us a couple of techniques. Yes. And we also have our wonderful producer, Chelsea, here with us to be fascinated for us. Which means I have to do an extra good job. Because she'll throw a whole lot of shit right now. Yeah, so we all know that famous video of a girl who burned her hair off. A lot of girls damage their hair when they're curling, and curling their hair. What is the best way? Well, I'm also a prime example of burning my hair off, too. I tried it on myself, and look what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you're right. Actually, a few key things when you're doing, when you're using hot tools. You want to make sure your hair is completely dry. Sometimes people take blow dryers or irons to their hair when it's wet. And that could be a serious issue, too. Also, if your hair is completely fried to begin with, like over-processed, heavily bleached, you got to be careful because if the heat is so hot, you're talking, you know, 400, over 400 degrees, it can really burn your hair right off. So that, I think that's what happened in her case. So I would suggest uh, a few things. When you're, you know, dry your hair first after you wash it and blow dry it, you know, almost as smooth as you can. Because if you can eliminate the frizz as quick as possible, that's also, you're off to a good start. It takes time to do that. But, you know, you want to make sure you're using good products to do that. I've been using the uh, Melania Hair Care, which is incredible. The smoothest, silkiest hair I've ever seen uh, in, in my 20 years uh, as a hairstylist. MelaniaHairCare.com, it's incredible. Um, there's three products. You always want to use something when the hair is wet, okay? Put something in when the hair is wet, because that's going to be your styling tool. It's going to prevent frizz. Those things are going to help show in the end result. Once you dry your hair, then I always suggest using um, a thermal protectant spray. Which is kind of like adding like sunscreen to your skin if you know you're going out sunbathing or something like that. I use something called Hot Off the Press by Paul Mitchell. It's really it's really a great spray, but it gives you that protection. So what I'm going to do here is just show you a quick demo. And I have, which is really cool. I have three tools. All right, a curling iron, a smoothing iron, and a wand. And you can the wand creates magic. You just go like this and it curls. No, <laughs> no. I know. If I can do this and grow hair, I'd be happy. But uh, the thing about this is. It's really cool to get a similar type wave with these tools. So I'm going to show you guys this. So what I'm going to do is spray this uh, hot off the press. Um, just it's a thermal protecting spray, and it dries relatively quickly, which is really cool. Again, because that's how you want your hair pretty dry. When you're doing, you can do it section by section. You can spray on the whole on the whole head. Um, either way, it's really up to you. So she's got relatively long hair, um, but you know any any length hair can this will work on. So as you can see, this is a smoothing iron. Most people think with smoothing iron, it's a smooth hair, right? Do you guys think that before? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, now, with the, now with the trend, you're starting to see people more and more you know, doing stuff like this with smoothing iron. So what you can do, very simple. You come in, right? you clamp it down, you twist it, and you pull towards yourself. And, and you just start to slowly pull. And you're going to create this nice, soft wave. Yeah. Wow. See that? Yeah. And I'll just do one, one more uh, piece on this side. This literally takes seconds to do this, you know? And the key is you want to make sure you turn the iron so that this piece right here is, is facing you. And you want to keep the iron, uh, the smoothing iron moving pretty smoothly, like you don't want to hold it. Because that's, that's what's going to create.